welcome back to the Project Mayhem channel. This is video 6 of the Project Mayhem Bronco series, and in this video we will be doing sandblasting and painting. These are a few of the smaller parts that I'll be sandblasting in my cabinet. The larger parts, like the axles and cross members and core support, I sent out to a sandblaster to have those done. Here's my sandblaster cabinet. It's nothing fancy, it's used, I bought it off of Craigslist. I added this regulator and air filter and water separator from Harbor Freight. Seems to work pretty good. Then I put this separator on here. This is a vacuum to keep the dust out of the cabinet. So it just vacuums up into that separator and it drops most of the sand dust into the bucket. And then it flows down into the vacuum, into the shop vac. And that way it keeps the filter on the shop, shop vac pretty clear. The original red paint on the cabinet was pretty bad. So I painted it this gray and on the inside I painted it white to help reflect the light a little bit better. I'm pretty happy with the cabinet, it seems to work well. Well, let's get started sandblasting.
The next thing to get ready for paint is the leaf springs. These have been sitting on the truck since it broke down almost 20 years ago, but they only have about 10,000 miles on them, so I wanted to clean them up, get all the rust off of them, and give them a new paint job to make them look nice when I put them back on the Bronco. I figured the best way to get the rust off of them and clean them up a bit was just to take the leaf pack apart. And so that's what I did. I ended up taking a wire wheel to each individual leaf and I'm pretty happy with the results. It came out pretty good. I used a lot of Eastwood products for painting. For most of the black paint, I used Eastwood's Chassis Black, uh, both the primer and the paint. This comes pre-mixed, uh, pre-thinned, ready to spray. And I just used a cheap Harbor Freight spray gun to spray it on. Uh, pretty happy with the results. Everything came out pretty good with it. For the other colors, first I primed the parts with an automotive enamel primer. Then I used Magic Tractor Truck and Implement Enamel. I mixed this with a reducer and a hardener and I used the same uh, cheap Harbor Freight spray gun to spray it on. I'm pretty happy with the results. It's a very tough, durable finish to put on the parts. Here's some video of actually spraying the parts. Between the plastic I had over the camera to protect it from overspray and the lights in the background, the quality's not very good, but here you go.
Some of the larger items I took to a sand blaster to have them done. Uh, things that were too big to fit in my cabinet like the axle housings. Uh, here they are fresh from the sand blaster. And here they are after a coat of primer. It's just a gray automotive primer on them. And here they are with the coat of black paint. Here are some pictures of the different parts that I painted. Uh, it took me a couple of weeks to do all the sandblasting and painting of the individual parts, and these are just a few of them. In case any of you are wondering about my makeshift spray booth, here are a few pictures of how I did it. It's just simple PVC pipe with a couple of end pieces, uh, corner pieces. I hung tarps from Harbor Freight over the sides of it and they can slide back and forth. The lights are just clip-on reflective lights and I hung the tarps just using coat hangers. I put clamps on each pole in the corners to close the corners up. That's the outside corner. And I put a big plastic tarp down on the floor to keep the overspray off the floor. Pretty simple all the way around and I could take the tarps on and off at will. And here it is all broken down with the tarps and the lights in the box and the PVC laying on the ground. By changing the lengths of the PVC, you can change the size and the height of the paint booth itself. The PVC with the end pieces, with the angle pieces on it, those are the cross members side to side, top and bottom, front and back, that's the four pieces there. The long pieces are the horizontal front to back frame pieces. And the shorter pieces are the vertical up and down pieces that control the height. You can change the length of any of those and customize the size of the booth. It's simple but effective and it worked pretty well for my needs. Well that's it for this video. If you have any questions or comments please leave them below. And don't forget to like and subscribe to stay up to date with the Project Mayhem Bronco channel. In the next video, I will start working on the James Duff long radius arm suspension and doing some frame modifications to get that mounted. Thanks for watching.